Hi everyone, I'm Ellie, founder of Code of the Future, and today I'm going to be starting a Selenium tutorial series on my YouTube channel showing you all about the Python library Selenium. So as usual, I'm going to put my glasses on and I'll move you onto the screen. So before I dive straight into the video and start doing some coding, I, th I thought I would give you a little bit of background about what Selenium is actually used for. So Selenium is a Python package and essentially it allows you to interact with HTML websites. So any website you see online, that will all be made up through HTML, which is another programming language. And essentially, Selenium will allow us to interact with certain elements on a web page. So in theory, we could build bots. We could build bots that would you know, scrape certain data off a website or fill in forms for us loads of different things like that. So in essence, we could create bots. Something that I'll say with Selenium before I go into any of the videos on this tutorial series, please use this responsibly. Websites pick up when you're using Selenium, so they know when you're using a bot. Every example that I use in this tutorial series is for educational purposes only. So please use this responsibly and don't, you know, go get your accounts blocked and stuff by being irresponsible with this module. So that is a little bit of background about Selenium. It essentially allows you to interact with websites and take certain data, fill in forms, do a whole range of different things on websites, which is really, really cool. And in this first video, I'm going to be showing you how you get Selenium set up all on your computer already so that you can start doing a bit of coding. So let's get onto the video and start doing some coding. So one of the first things you need to do is install Selenium. So what you can do is you can go to your terminal, which is here on a Mac. And on a Mac, what you will type is you'll type in pip3 install Selenium or Selenium. I say Selenium, I don't know if that's just because I'm British. I appreciate some people say Selenium, so apologies for the pronunciation. So you will type in pip3 install Selenium. If you're on Windows, you just put pip, but essentially you will type this in, press enter, it will download it. I'm not doing it today because I've already installed Selenium, so it won't make much difference if I, if I do press enter. So essentially all you're gonna do is open up your terminal, type in pip install Selenium or pip3 install Selenium, and hopefully that will install Selenium for you. If you're a little bit confused about pip and how everything works, you can actually install it into your PyCharm project. So all you're going to do is you're going to go to PyCharm, Preferences, you're going to go to the project you're working in, you're going to go to Python Interpreter, and then you're just going to click this Add Install button here, and you're just going to search for Selenium. And there it is at the bottom of here, and click Install. So I can install this, but I have actually already installed Selenium on my laptop, so I don't need to do that. But if you want to do it this way, you can, so just click Install Package. Okay. Once you have done that, if you type in Import Selenium, what you'll notice is no errors pop up. So if you do have an error when this, this pops up, just make sure that you have definitely imported Selenium. So you will have no error pop up here, and that is because it is installed correctly. So you just wanna make sure that when you type in import Selenium, it works. So I'll just put here, importing the relevant modules as usual. Now what's next? So now we also need to install a Chrome driver. And I'm just gonna put this on this Python file just so you remember. And I'm just gonna put that in this Python file just so you definitely remember to do it. So it, because without a Chrome driver, you can't actually use Selenium. So all you're gonna do is you're gonna open up a new Google browser and you're just gonna type in Chrome driver. It is this first link here, we're gonna click on it. And then you're just gonna click all version availables in downloads. So we're gonna click on downloads. And this gives you every single release that you can download. So essentially what we need to do is we need to find out what Chrome drive we're in. So just before I mention this, it's very important that you download Chrome in order to go with Chrome driver. I recommend using Chrome because that will be what I'm using in this tutorial series. And it's a lot easier for you to follow along if you're in the same web, drive, web browser. So yeah, highly recommend you download Chrome first and then get to this point here. So we're in Chrome obviously, and all we need to do is you're just gonna click these three dots here you're gonna click help and you're gonna go on about Google. Now this will open up something that looks like this. So apparently I'm currently updating Google Chrome and I wasn't aware that was happening currently, <laughs> but you will get this about Chrome and it will tell you what your version is. So my version is 92.045, uh, this bit here. So when you go back onto the downloads, you're gonna use, I'm gonna use the version that's 92 because my version, oh, because my version is 92. So essentially all you're gonna do is get to this point, see what version your Google Chrome is and download the relevant one. So I'm gonna do 92 because that's uh, the version I'm in. You're gonna click on the little download, so the little link next to it, 92, and then you're just gonna click which is relevant for you. So mine would be a Mac and I would download the Mac. So I've already done this and essentially what happens when you do download it, this will go straight to your downloads. 
So you're going to click on the relevant operating system you have, so Windows, Linux or Mac. Uh, I'm not going to do the downloading because I've also already downloaded, so I click the Mac version. And essentially what happens is then when you open your downloads, which will be down here, and I open my Finder, these are my downloads and my Chrome driver is right here. So this is what you will have once you have downloaded, it will all work and it will probably be put in your downloads. Once you have it downloaded, you can then place it anywhere you want on your laptop if you are using windows what is recommended is that you put it on your c drive just because it's easier to access uh, but for myself i keep it in my downloads and that's just because i know the path and i know exactly where it is so once you've downloaded it find where your chrome driver is and move it into a relevant folder so for me it's downloads if you're using windows then i recommend using your c drive but it's completely up to you put it wherever you want it as long as you can find it that's that's the uh, the advice so we've got chrome driver here so we have the chrome driver here and now we're going to start doing a bit of coding. Okay, so we are back in PyCharm and essentially all you need to do is just where this import selenium is, we're just going to get rid of that and we're going to say from selenium import web driver. Now what this is doing here is we, we take the selenium and we're importing the web driver and the web driver allows us to you know interact with our website this here is key we, we can't interact with a website without it so this here is key so we're going to import web driver i'm just going to get rid of this comment here and now i'm going to say we create a path so our path is going to essentially be where our chrome driver is so on a mac what i will type i know it's in my download so on my mac this is what i type for the path i do a forward slash users i type in the user so that's me at least i do a forward slash i go downloads and then i do a forward slash and it's a chrome driver so i will say chrome driver right there perfect now if you are on and i'll just put on windows and i'll put this I will, I will have to hashtag this out because I'm not on a Windows. Your path, if you move it to your C drive, will look something like this. It will be C colon forward slash Chrome driver. And it may have a .exe on the end. So that's just for Windows. So I'm just going to hashtag that out because obviously that doesn't work on a Mac. It doesn't work on my, on my laptop. So that is just, you know, as a side note. So I'll just put a little, put that in brackets there. So I've created my path, so now we have created this variable path and it knows exactly where this Chrome driver is and the Chrome driver will allow us to interact with websites. So now we're going to create a driver. So we're going to assign the variable driver to equal web driver, which is what we've installed here, imported here with Selenium, dot Chrome, open brackets, path. Now this can be Firefox, so I could change this to Firefox there. There are a whole range of different options you can use here, but as I said, I would highly recommend you use Chrome because that's what I'm using in these videos. And essentially what's happening here is the driver knows that our path right here is where our Chrome driver is located uh, and it's in Chrome. So we've created a driver. And now what I'm gonna show you is how you can or, you know, open a website. I'm gonna put open a website. And all we're going to say is driver.get and we're going to put the location that we want to visit. So let's go, say we want to just visit Google. Because that's the standard website that always opens up. Okay, okay, so before I run this Python file, something that's really worth remembering, something that I thought I would mention is that on a Mac when I first, you know, messed around with Selenium, Essentially, I ran this you know, Python file and it came up with the specific error that said Chrome driver cannot be opened because the developer cannot be verified. And I spent ages trying to figure out why that was. And essentially, if you're on a Mac, all you're going to do is you're just going to open Chrome driver here. You're just going to double click, open it. There we go. It's opened. opened. I just closed it then. But it will come up with, you know, are you sure you want to open this? And then you'll say, yes, I do. And then this, this code here will work. So what I'm going to do now is show you what happens when I run this Python file. So we run selenium and notice that google has just popped up i didn't touch anything it just did it completely automated and google has opened up on a, on a separate location here and we now have you know opened a website how awesome is that now i'm going to you know do a different example let's say we want to go to let's do tiktok let's do tiktok for an example and we'll click run i think that's the website for tiktok so we'll just see and let's see what happens there we go tiktok awesome how cool is that so 
anything and notice with TikTok this is why I wanted to do a few videos on my on my channel about TikTok but unfortunately TikTok knows that you're using automated test software Chrome it says up here Chrome is being controlled by automated test software and TikTok likes to do these little puzzle things so you, that you, it knows that you're not a bot so unfortunately I haven't been able to do any <laughs> kind of um, tutorials on TikTok but I have done one on Instagram which will be the next video so what we have done is we have essentially opened a website how awesome is that something that's also worth mentioning down here you will have a different google chrome you know, browser for each time you run your python file so just remember to cross off each of them so you know i'm just going to cross off these two now and this here just so i don't have loads running in the background okay cool so we have opened a website how awesome is that now the final thing that i'm just going to show you is how you can quit it so what we can do is we can say driver dot quit and this will essentially quit the the, um, the web browser as soon as it's open. And I'll move this back to Google just because Google seems to be more compatible with Selenium. So we'll run and it's going to open up Google and notice that as soon as it opens it, it quits. And that's because it, you know, it, it opens it here, it opens Google and then we say, well, let's quit it. Um, equally, you can, so this I'll just put here, this quits the web browser. And then what you can do is you can actually close a specific tab, which will probably do the exact same thing because it's just opening one tab. So you're just going to type driver.close. Awesome. So that will close a specific tab. What you can do is you can add a little bit of time for Google to be on the screen. So let's say, let's leave a bit of time for Google before it closes. And let's say time.sleep. Five. So if you're unfamiliar with the, the library time, we're just going to import it up here. So import time. Time will essentially allow this, you know, it'll, it'll pause for five seconds before continuing on with the code. So I'll just hashtag out the close because we'll just do the quit. We'll run this and what will happen is it will open up Google. Google will be on the screen for about five seconds. Um, I'll agree to the terms and conditioning. So we've got Google here. Awesome. And there we go. It just closed. So it had five seconds to be on the screen and then it closed. So this video has gone on a little bit longer than I expected, so I'm going to end it now and then we'll move on to another video where I'll show you how you can start interacting with the web page. So that has been the video today. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, then please give this video a big thumbs up. And if you want to support the channel even further, then hit the subscribe button and the bell notification with it so you don't miss out on any future videos. And also check out the donation link in the description of this video. But for now, I will see you all in the next video.